is it me or is this this uh, Joe Budden's Eminem be fake? Everybody just wants this, this this promotion right now. Eminem just dropped the album late last year. You know, Joe Budden's has a is off in negotiation with his new contract. He just turned down million dollars. You know, try to renew his contract with Complex. Even even bizarre. And I mean, like he dropped a, a project late last year and she was fucking with Erica from. I love my plug, you know. Uh, DJ Cutthroat sister, DJ Cutthroat is GGD official DJ and shit. Like, motherfucking uh, like Bazaar said, uh, Joe Buttons is still signed to Shady Records and shit. Like he still pays a nigga. You able to pay your bills because this nigga, you know, this night. Like, you ain't gonna fuck up your bread because of your personal opinion. I mean, then again, you know, you a crazy nigga. Who knows? You might really, really not fuck feeling this album. You know, so you gave you his opinion. Not everybody shit is hot, you dig? No, I'm, I'm an Eminem fan, but you know, not everything from Eminem. I still fuck with you, dig? But yeah, um, Eminem got a new track out with Two Chains and and, and Pressure. Uh, how, how the fuck you pronounce the name? Like this nigga. From like, wait a minute, that Remy Martin song, like, this nigga still, I can't understand what this nigga saying still. Like, what? Like, my nigga, are you African? What do you, what, what, what? Speak a little bit clearer. Eminem got this uh, new track called motherfucking, um, what's that shit called? I forgot what the shit is called. New track, uh, it's taking shots at Big Sean, giving shots at the proof. So that nigga trying to stay relevant. Like, wasn't this nigga the most talked about rapper since the BT Awards and shit? Niggas trying to stay relevant. You know, at times Eminem is still in the top five rappers without dropping the album. So now that he dropped the album, he want to be, you know, relevant again. So what do you do? You, you stir up a fake beef with who else but your own Joe Budden. You have your own source of media. Like, come on. He's a business genius, my nigga. This is Eminem. Like, without Eminem, there'll be no motherfucking 50 cents. No revival of Dr. Dre, you dig? Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm a, I've been a Joe Budden's fan. I don't know why everybody hate Joe Budden's all of a sudden, man. Like. I've been a Slaughterhouse fan, like, Crooked Eye, I've been a Crooked Eye fan, you know, Joel Ortiz, dope lyricist, not really a fan of Royce the Nine, but, you know, um, and now I was watching this fucking, um, little short clip with Bizarre and shit, talking about how Slaughterhouse was created, you know, uh, Joe Budden basically sat down with Royce, you know, one of Detroit's legends, he's like, yo, let's put this Slaughterhouse shit together. You know, if you, you got the hottest thing from your city, Eminem was basically one of the top, still one of the top icons in the city of Detroit. You definitely want to put your stamp on it. So, yeah, it makes sense for them to sit down and, and put this Slaughterhouse project together. But Eminem ain't trying to do shit but boost his record sales, you know, help, and, you know, help his team take over this media shit. Okay, whether you want to admit it or not, fucking Joe Buttons is active right now. You know, other than this shit with motherfucking uh, academics, he got his own shit going. Like, you know, Joe Buttons, man. Pump, pump it up. But yeah, I'm not gonna go talk your motherfucking head off. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Follow me on Instagram, Revolutionary Cuz. Like the Facebook fan page, The Revolutionary Cuz Show. Until next time, it's tomorrow for your boy, Triples.